If some of you tuned in to the recent video, you touched upon the reality of the new Madam Web movie, 2024, and uh, um, yeah, apparently the story is dealing with the origins of the character in her youth and her relationships to the name Peter Parker. A lot of people are really not impressed, uh, apparently. I haven't seen it. I don't have an opinion. Go see it if you want. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, but I will make a prediction that be for myself that before I see it, I'm, I put my money on it that I'm probably not going to be too impressed. Uh, current madness amongst writers and the current... Um, I don't know what you'd call it. Madness that is being... Uh, taking place uh, with the big boys, DC and Marvel. But um, that's not really what the point of the video was. The point of the video was to show that uh, actually here, in uh, here in my uh, issue uh, of, uh, of Amazing Spider-Man 210 in um, 1980, um, uh, it's November, so it was on the stands in, in September. Um, I grabbed it uh, as a little boy, as a 10-year-old. And um, anyway, uh, yeah, we did a flip through, and I was uh, just basically pointing out that at that time, although it was read a few times, I didn't um, really take note of who artists were, but I could recognize their work, that sort of thing. And it was kind of a, kind of a neat... Uh, surprise later on to find out that uh, as I was checking the credits um, who was actually involved with that um, you know that being uh, John Romita Jr. and uh, Sinat uh, on the arts which was a great team it was really good but again that wasn't the point either the point was to show what the original Madam Web this was what Madam Web is and this is what it means to old schoolers like myself and I'm sure other people whatever you know whether I'm really impressed with the character or whether she was my favorite character or whatever I you know they can whoever they can do with it what they want with her <laughs> that doesn't sound that's a little suggestive but um, my point is that's that's her origin there right uh, but the other point was that I stumbled upon something that I hadn't expected. And uh, I just want to touch base on that and then leave a final comment that I should have mentioned. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, so it was in this issue, I was flipping through the other night, number 13, uh, July, so I guess on the stands, May 77. This issue, uh, by the way, no, I didn't pick up originally as a kid. I would have been about seven years old. and During that time, I don't think I had change in my pocket. I didn't start getting change in my pocket until I was about nine years old when I started getting a little bit resourceful. Um, thanks to the neighborhood I was living in. Poverty can do that. Um, even then. But at the time, um, I remember... Uh, these books. I remember. I remember the uh, recognizing the art really distinct, and it was Kirby all along. But I just never knew who he was, so to speak. But again, that's I digress. That's not the point. The point was that in this issue, I discovered something concerning Madam Web that I thought I'd like to share with you. It was uh, in this issue well, that it just so happens that the first uh, and earliest um, concept of Madame Webb, at least that I know of, perhaps some people were onto it, is right here. Uh, a few years before that, in 77, and you can see with her hood that uh, looks a lot like a, it's kind of shaped like a nun's a nun's headdress or a burqa yeah 
Anyway, um, as you can see, she looks nothing like the original Madam Web. And uh, here's the point I wanted to make with the second video because I already went into it. I don't want to go into it again. Uh, here, she's advertising for Hostess Twinkies. And from what I hear, Madam Web is still advertising for Twinkies. A different sort. 